A typical person's spine contains 33 interlocking bones called vertebra, which bend forward and backwards to allow for movement. Between each of these vertebra is a connective tissue with jelly-like cartilage that acts as a shock absorber called a disc. The soft cushion cartilage and connective tissue are necessary so the body can bend normally. Without it, everyday movements would be incredibly painful and difficult to perform. Degenerative disc disease is the breakdown or degradation of the cartilage found between the vertebra. As the human body ages, some of this cartilage and tissue begins to wear down, making those normal movements we take for granted increasingly difficult to perform. It may only start out as minimal swelling and slight discomfort in or around the spine, but degenerative disc disease can lead to severe, debilitating pain if left untreated. The term degenerative disc disease is somewhat confusing since it's actually not a disease, but rather a normal condition that's characterized by aging and wearing of the spinal discs. As we age, our bodies go through a variety of changes, one of which is the gradual breakdown of the spinal discs. It's not a fast process by any means, but over the course of our lives, these spinal discs will begin to wear down. This process could take many years, possibly even decades. While degenerative disc disease commonly occurs from aging, physical trauma may also lead to it. Falls, sports injuries, automobile and work accidents may also force one or more of the spinal discs to bulge or push outwards. So let's take a look at the progression of degenerative disc disease in three phases and its impact on your spine. Phase one is called dysfunction. This phase is like having a locked rusty hinge in one of your spinal joints. There may be a loss of normal spinal curves and the nerves may be affected. Your joints, discs, nerves, and posture are stressed and they begin to age more quickly. Surprisingly, there may be no pain other than occasional discomfort. Some individuals may experience a slight or lessening of energy and height loss. Response to chiropractic care at this stage is generally pretty good. In the second or instability phase of the degeneration, there's a much greater degree of decay and disc narrowing. Also bone spurs or osteophytes begin to form. Postural changes are much more evident and spinal canal narrowing or spinal stenosis may occur. This phase is characterized by aches and pains, fatigue, and a diminished ability to cope with stress. Height continues to decrease. This condition is very common. By age 40, 80% of males and 76% of females exhibit moderate disc degeneration. With chiropractic care at this stage, significant improvement is possible. Last is the stabilization phase where most joint space is lost and is bone on bone. Being the most advanced stage of degeneration, the posture changes are severe and motion is limited. There is extensive nerve damage, permanent scar tissue, and bones may begin to fuse. Individuals experience pain, various degrees of physical or mental disability, and continue loss of energy and height. At this stage, the condition is considered irreversible, although chiropractic care may give some symptomatic relief. Thankfully, there are several different chiropractic treatment options available to help reduce the pain and discomfort caused by this condition. You don't need to sit and passively watch your spine degenerate. At Spine Care Decompression and Chiropractic Center, we focus on restoring joint motion and helping prevent new or further degeneration of spinal discs. We've been able to help many patients in the St. Joseph, Michigan area, and we may be able to help you too. If you're suffering from degenerative disc disease in the back or neck, call us today and see if we can get you back to living life with less pain. Thank you for watching.